Lamb of God promised never to leave us nor forsake us. So you know we are in good shape in the promises of God. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We just magnify your holy and glorious name. We come this morning at this time just to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, you have done so much for us. You've cured our illnesses, helped our finances. But what we want to really thank you for is right now. Because right now we're in the presence of you. Because you also promised where two or more are gathered in your name that you would be in the midst. So while you're in the midst, Father, we want you to hear that we love you, that we praise you. We could not have made it without you. Some of us went over the highways and byways and got back to our designated place safely. Some of us went through the air and got back home safely. But most of all, we had an opportunity to wake up this morning. Not only did we wake up, Father, but you allowed us to get up. Oh, what a wonderful God you are. Father, how, how can we say thank you? When you be in the God that you are God, if you mean it in your heart, all you need to say is thank you. Because God, you're looking for our heart more than anything. Not how well we sing, not where we live, not where we work, but what's in your heart. Even though you, you ask us to read your word, but more than read your word and study your word, you want us to live your word. God, continue to strengthen us and move us along. Be with the speaker of the hour. Be with the choir and the musicians. But we come for one reason and one reason only, and that is just to magnify your holy and glory name. So, Father, we need just to say hallelujah. 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 Glory and honor, because all the praises belong to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, sir. Privilege to live for 
Fathers, we prepare to worship through giving. We thank you, Lord, for having something to give. We thank you, Lord, for those who even may not have something. You let them come around and touch the basket. We know, Lord, that you supply our every need. So help us, Lord, to receive this offering. Press it down and shake it together to use it towards your will. It's your son Jesus' name that we pray, and the people of God say together, Amen. Won't we stand all over the church as we're led by our ushers and giving? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship through giving. We know that all things come of thee, O Lord, Amen. and of thy own have we given thee. Let us sing this song together. Just say what you will, of the Savior, Come on, and it will not be in vain. You can call yeah. when you need his assistance. Three are gathered, gathered in his name, touching and agreeing on the same thing. Yeah, he'll be uh -huh. your God. Come on, Tim. In the midst thereof, yeah. and all your blessings will come down from heaven above and all you got to do is ask, Just ask what you will what you will of the Savior and it will not it will not be a day you can call Try him, and we should. He said that he would never withhold any good. Yeah. Yet for for the Lord, we would walk upright and live every. We gotta do is ask what you will, what you will of the Savior, and it will not, it will not be in vain. You can call him up when you need his assistance. 
When you call him, he'll come in a hurry. You can call him up when you need his assistance. Call him up and tell him what you want. He will hear you when you call on his name. All you got to do is call him. Problem is today. Woo! Call him when you're lonely. Oh, call, call him. him. Well, it don't make no difference. Yeah. Yeah. Call, call him. him. You, you can, can call, call him. him. Yes, remember if you call his name, yeah. he, he can, can make a change. He can solve he can your, your problem, then you'll never be the same. He's working, working overtime. Yes. See what's on your mind. There's no There's other no friend, friend, friend that you and I could ever find. Oh, just call Jesus, y'all. Woo! Call him. When you're burdened. Oh, call him. Oh, when you're sick. Call him. Oh, when you're lonely. Uh -huh. You can call him. Yes, remember. If you call his name. Oh, Make a change. There's no. You can solve your problems and you'll never be the same. He's working overtime yes, to see what's on your mind. There's no better There's friend. No better friend that you and I could ever find. Paul's calling Jesus, y'all. Woo! Call him. Yeah, when you're lonely. Oh, call, call him. him. Oh, when you're sick. Uh -huh. Precious Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time, this moment, being able to come together and gather and worship you, a living God. We thank you, Lord, because we know that you gave your only begotten Son who died and rose again. It's coming back again. We thank you, God, because you told us to um, love each other as you have loved us. To, to put you first, God, you told us all these things, Lord, and we are determined, Lord, to be your disciples. So for all of these things, we say thank you. But now, Lord, it's something that we've gathered for, and it's a word from you. Lord, if we don't hear from you, we don't know what we're going to do. Lord, so come by here and let the words of this mouth and the meditation of this heart be accepted to thy sight, Lord. You are our strength, and you are our redeemer. Lead us and guide us, Lord. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray, and the people of God say together, amen, amen, amen. Hmm. We're going to 2 Samuel this morning, the ninth chapter, the ninth through 11th verse. 2 Samuel, uh -huh. the ninth chapter, mm -hmm. the ninth to the 11th verse. And I, I know it may seem different, but we're going to get there this morning. Mm -hmm. then, king, then the king summoned Saul's servant, Zibia. I have given your, I'm sorry, I'm reading from the, the Living Bible. I have given your master's grandson everything that belonged to Saul and his family, he said. You and your sons and servants are to farm the land for him, to produce food for his family. But he will live here with me. You will do that for him, he'll live. So, so Ziba, um, who had 15 sons and 20 servants, God bless him, replied, Sir, I will do all you have commanded. And from that time on, Mephosheth ate regularly with King David as though he were his own son. Hmm. If there be a table, it's shift to go forward. Shift to go forward. I, 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 I pray this comes to understanding and fruition as we work through. Sometimes we need to shift to go forward. Sometimes we just can't stay where we are. We don't know 
how God, why God got us where we are, but, but every now and again, we, we realize and come to a point we need to shift to go forward. And it's funny, as we've been walking through this worship experience, um, so many things flooded in me, but we, and we need to shift to go forward. This morning, during church school, we talked about them coming to the end of the wilderness and how some of them couldn't shift. They were out of slavery, yeah. They, they crossed water, yeah. And they were walking. Every time Moses went away, the people had issues, yeah. And, and this is just a preamble to the amble. And, and they couldn't shift to go forward. And, and, and even today, I even think sometimes we get so, we beat them up so much that, that, that we don't understand or can relate to them. I know they were messed up. I know they all died off. I, I know. I, I know God let them die off just, and it just kept two. I, I understand. But, but sometimes one, one reason we have issues is because we can't relate when people go through some stuff. And, and I'll be, I'm, I, I, I may think, you may think I'm going a little bit woohoo, but, but you have to understand that these are people who didn't understand that God had, fought them, had brought them that far by faith. We, we, we sometimes don't understand because from the New Testament Christians, after having Jesus in our lives and saying yes to God, we see what God can do and the miracles of God. How can you see God's miracle and still be mad at where you are when we do it all the time? For years, um, God had provided for them. For years, God had given them manna. For years, God, in the middle of the desert, he made sure they had water. So we can't understand, that's not good English, what the problem is. But, but, but we need to understand that from their point of view, uh -huh. I'm not saying you're not providing God, but I'm still in the wilderness. Well, from, from their point of view, I'm not saying you're not taking care of me, God, but I just wish things were different. From, right. from their point of view, um, why am I still here? Yeah. I want to be there, and you, and you got me here. I'm not saying they were perfect. No, I'm not saying they didn't mess up. No, I'm not even saying they didn't come together and, and, and did some worldly stuff with some calves. But every now and again, we have to put ourselves where people are before you try to beat them up. Because if you can't have empathy or relate, then you'll never get it when you go through. And so every once in a while when I hear that story, not saying the teacher didn't do a good job. You did, my sister. I'm just saying that sometimes we have to get the story from their point of view. Because they were there trying to figure it out. And, 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 and so we have to learn, even this week, um, we, we saw the 9-11 memorial, and we all do look back and reflect and make sure that we don't do things either politically or personally or even security-wise that allow us to go there again. Uh -huh. we, we, we saw a, a, a debate where one candidate was able to shift and go forward, and the other one kept going back to the past. And because of that, because of that non-shift, we all got opinions about that debate. I'm not laughing, y'all. I'm just trying to talk about what I'm talking about. But, but, but we as individuals have to really look at ourselves and shift sometimes well. to move forward. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I had this nice little, uh, I'll tell you. Uh, um, I used to, shifting, I used to drive a vet. Back, back, my first car, was, it was in the 70s, um, Sunday Hall, and, 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 and I used to drive a vet. Can canary yellow, it was beautiful, my first car. It, it, it was a manual transmission, we called it a stick. Some of y'all don't know about, how many people know about sticks? All right, we, uh, I'll talk to people online, because this crowd in here, y'all know about uh, uh, sticks, and, and I, I, I loved it. I loved it because I got tired of MTA. Mike, Tom, and Anthony, I was tired of catching that bus. So when I got my vet, I was excited. And before you get too excited, Reverend, it was a shove vet, not a Corvette. But it, was, but it was my vet, though. It, it was my vet, though. Still had two doors, but it was a shove vet. I know y'all thought I had it like that, but I did not. It was a, but it was my vet, and I was proud of my vet. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, see, in order to shift my vet, there were four gears on the floor in the middle of my little bucket seats. And, 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 and one was forward, you know, and then you go back, and then you go to the right, and you go up to three, and you come back to four. And, and, and my father first taught me on Milford Avenue, and it was a little incline. How do I know it was an incline? Because when I first tried to, learn, tried to learn, it kept going back on me. I didn't understand why, because I didn't learn how to shift. 
I tried to I tried to do it just right, but it wasn't working right, and I had to learn how to shift to go forward. And I, and I use that example because see, I, I, when I started to get good at it, every once in a while, I ooh okay, hold on. It's not a senior moment. Don't worry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Actually, the funny part is it did. Um, mm -hmm. Have we ever had a wild God moment where he show you something while you're doing something else? Yes. Yes. All right. I just had a wild God moment. Usually when you're up here and you do this, you usually yeah. can do the transition thing, and it still sound good, and then people say you did all right, but I'm trying to work this out. And you can tell I got one of those moments because I'm talking too fast, and I know I am, so don't tell me, Vaughn, I know I'm talking too fast. <laughs> Let's do it this way. That's We're still right. shifting to go forward, all right? The thing about my bed is this. This will happen. So God doesn't, there's no burning bush for me. Every once in a while, God will show me a picture and remind me of some stuff I did. And either you can share it or you cannot share it. This time it's kind of embarrassing, but I'm going to share it anyway because I think it will get us to Mephesa Beth. Here's the thing. I was telling you how the car shifts, right? right? Now, for those of us who may live in Baltimore or live near Baltimore, when you come down from the county to the city, don't ask me why I was in the county. Um, I'm saying this with love. There's none of your business why I was in the county. But this particular day, I was coming down on Liberty Heights. And see, I got this practice when I was driving my vet. I'm going to still say it like that because it's my vet. Um, <laughs> I would put it in gear, but at some point, for those of you who drive sticks, you know, you can go in neutral mm -hmm. and cruise to a stop. I know you ain't supposed to do it. I know you're supposed to always stay in gear because, see, when you're in neutral, you let your trickle go forward. That whole uh, vehicle and, uh, staying in motion, stay in motion. And, but you try to be cool when you're going neutral. You slow down that way, and you try to time it just right. Why are you going there, Pastor? Give me half a minute. So I was coming down Liberty Heights. Made a right onto Milford Avenue. On Milford Avenue, it's a one-way street. And it's going down there towards Gwen Oak Avenue. And some of y'all, when we leave here, y'all going to drive down and make sure I'm telling the truth. Trust me, I am. So, so you're going down Milford Avenue, and there's another street. I can't remember that street, but, but it curves and stops at Gwen Oak. So me being me, I ain't say young and dumb. Don't say that, Sister Connie. Me being me, I would go down there, and there's a particular house. I would put it in neutral, then go around the corner and stop at the stop sign. And the key of it was, even though I was riding in neutral, which wasn't that smart. I know that now, you know. But, but, but I was riding in neutral. I was letting the stuff I did in the past propel me forward. Because I got so much speed that I thought that I can cruise the rest of the way. I didn't put it in gear to where I'm going forward to where I'm supposed to go forward. No, no. I done so much I just figured I could cruise. Some of y'all are hitting me. So I was cruising to a stop in neutral. I, 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 I got to the stop. Now, now, that's before there was a speed camera on uh -huh. Gwinnell. Y'all don't get caught. Uh, um, but that was before then, and you had to stop at the stop sign and wait for traffic to go through. Now, now watch this. Here's, here's the fun part. Um, I was still in neutral because I had been cruising so long, I wasn't paying attention. Well. So I'm sitting there, uh -oh. good stick driver, but, well. but, but, but since I was sitting there without my foot in the clutch, I should have known mm. that I wasn't prepared to go forward. But I, I had cruised for almost half a block. So since I was cruising for so long, I, I wasn't paying attention. Be well, careful when you right. cruise. Thank you, God. Right. Um, so I was sitting there. Yeah. And, and what well, I say? One, two, three, four. And this was, this is what God was telling me. See, you forgot to tell me about reverse. Uh -oh. One, two, three, four. And it's going to come. Because I was sitting there. And this is kind of embarrassing. Don't tell my mama. Um, the traffic was coming back and forth. It finally cleared. When it cleared, I go to pull off. If you're not getting a stick, what happens, family? Vroom, you're just sitting there. A whole lot of noise, waste a little bit of gas, but you don't go anywhere. Have you ever been sitting somewhere and you try to pull off and, you can't, and you're surprised that you can't go nowhere, that you're, that you're still right where you were, even though you put your foot on the gas because yeah. you've been sitting so long and, and not paying attention? Yeah. I, 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 I thought I was going to go somewhere, but, but that's not the, the bad part. I got discombobulated because it surprised me that I wasn't going anywhere. So when I went to shift, I took it to the left, and I pushed down before I pushed forward. Don't get ahead of me. It was clear. I put my foot on the gas. Which way did I go? 
And that's the part I just saw that messed me up. Thanks be to God that sometimes when you go backwards, ain't nobody behind you. I hit nobody. Thank you, God. It was nobody behind me. But as I contemplated and evaluated, okay, I didn't do none of that. I was scared to death. As I thought about what happened. Yeah. And here was a shopping part that I just got. I wanted to go forward. After I put myself in neutral, I put myself in neutral, car didn't do it. I, wasn't, I wanted to go forward, well. and I wasn't paying attention. Uh -huh. I wanted to go forward, and it was clear. Well. But I didn't check before I tried to move. Mm. Uh. When it was time to move, well. because what I expected to happen didn't happen, because yeah. I wanted something to happen, yeah. And all I heard was noise. I want something that happened. Yeah. I didn't have any emotion. I want something that happened and things didn't change. Um, I took it upon myself to rush through going forward. Mm. <laughs> but, but, but here's the thing about my old transmission. Hold on, hold on. I want to make sure y'all get this. I know it's just a GM thing, but I, I want y'all to get it the way I, I see it. When it was time to go forward, I went down and I went left. Mm. I was so messed up and not yeah. knowing what kind of driver I was. Mm. And I, I was supposed to go right and go up. But, but at that time, I was so messed up, yeah. I went down and I went to the left. Because that's how you get in reverse. You know, you can't just go, because reverse is kind of different. They didn't want you to make a mistake. So in order to get in reverse, you got to go down and to the left, and then you go there, and then you go back. But I was so messed up with what happened, I wasn't paying attention, and I went down. I had to go down to the left, the car wouldn't have gone backwards. So I tried to evaluate what happened. I went down and to the left. Don't be so sitting there and neutral to the when it's time to move and yeah. you can't do it, you don't pay attention and you go down into the left. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I went down into yeah. the left and, and then I went forward. Mm. No, no, no. I went forward, but the car went back. <laughs> I, I went forward, but the car went back. So while we get mad with God, when we discombobulate it and we make a poor decision, well, and we go down into the left, yeah. and we get shocked when we go backwards. Yeah. Why are we get mad at God when, when we're not paying attention and been sitting in neutral for half a minute? Yeah. And we go down and try to go forward, and we find ourselves somewhere we didn't want to be. How can we get mad with God when, when you know how to shift? You learned how to shift, but you took your foot off the gas and stopped paying attention. And when the coast was clear, it was clear for a reason. You've been waiting. You've been wanting the traffic to clear. And when it cleared, because you weren't paying attention, yeah, yeah. you ended up going the wrong way. How yeah, yeah, can we yeah. get mad with God? The street didn't change. The shift didn't change. Yeah. The stop sign didn't change. Yeah. I changed. How? Can I get mad at what happened when I was the source of the problem? My Lord. My Lord. Before we talk about Miss mm. Miss Thistlebeth, this I guess it's the thing before the thing. You can't ride in neutral and expect to have forward motion. Mm. You have to be active well. in that walk you walk. Mm. You gotta pay attention. To what's going on around you. Yeah. If God has you to stop, mm. wait, I say on the Lord, be of good courage and wait. Yeah. And pay attention to what you're doing while you wait. Right. I don't care if you be like Disney and whistle while you wait. I don't care if you pay, but, but, but pay attention, attention while you wait. Well. And oh, beloved, when it's time to move, mm. pay attention on how you move. You can't just all be all discombobulated and go around shifting stuff left and right wow. and thinking that'll honor the thing you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. When you don't pay attention and do the things you're supposed to do, you'll find yourself going backwards. Mm -hmm. and, and you better pray yeah. that if you do find yourself going backwards, yeah. you don't hit nobody or take nobody with you. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, we serve a God who watches over you, so, so he'll, he'll, he'll keep you like he yeah. kept me because I didn't mess up my back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and, and now, and, and what, what, what does it have to do with, I, th I think you're going to bring it around. Watch this. So, so uh, Mephisabeth was, was Jonathan's son, which is Saul's grandson. Uh -huh. So he was meant in his mind 
to be somewhere than where he found himself as an adult. For those who don't know the story, you can read it in your private time. Um, we, know, we know David was supposed to replace Saul. We know Saul tried to kill David a couple of times. We'll just say twice for, for Bible's sake. And, and, and you know that, that Saul had issue with David, but you also know that Jonathan loved David. And, and David had a call on his life. So, so when, when Saul died and Jonathan died, the news was so messed up that the person take care of Mephosheth, uh, she, she dropped the boy. And, and, and his legs got messed up. And, 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 you tell you, uh, uh, and see, this week was a hard week for me. It was like a got dropped week. I kind of went left some part this week, but God still kept me so I wouldn't let go. So he got dropped. So now he was living his life okay. It was, say, middle class. He was, he was doing all right. He was living his life okay, but he knew he was supposed to be a prince. And some of us, which would make you think of church school, some of us, Get upset with God because you know the call he has in your life. You know that you're supposed to be some, doing something different. But right now, you're not where you're supposed to be. My question is, how are you going to act while you're in neutral? Wow. He wasn't there, but, but he wasn't there. So how are you going to act when you're here? When, when you're not where you were, but you're trying to get to where you need to be. You're not where you were, but you don't see a way how you can make yeah. it. You're not where you were, but yeah. you know it's time to shift forward and go. Yeah, you're not yeah. where you were, but you need the fortitude to stand up and say, you know he is God and you're going to walk with him. Yeah. You're not where you were, yeah. but you see him moving. Yeah. God, God, I, I see you moving. I, I see you holding. I, I see you taking care of me, even when I'm not even paying attention at a stop sign. You're still taking care of me, God. So, 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 so God... Uh, um, how will I be? When I sit at the stop sign, will I stay in gear? Well, 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 I'm going to go to neutral. When I, sit at, when I sit at the stop sign and I'm waiting on you, will I stay in gear? I'm looking to make sure it's okay to go forward or I'm going to just cut the car off. When, when I'm sitting and waiting, God, wondering where you have me to go, am I going to watch and wait and learn what you have me to do or I'm just going to sit there and wonder in neutral, see how much gas I'm waiting, what I'm going to do. God, when you say, it's not time yet, baby, it's a little bit more for you to learn, my beloved. Uh, just give me a minute. I I'm working with you. There's some stuff you still need to do. Yeah. But God, I feel like I'm going around the circle. It's okay. Because if you go around the circle, I created the circle. It's, it's all right. Yeah. 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 Stay in gear. Stay, stay, stay in gear. Don't cruise. Stay in gear. I know you can live off your laurels. I know you've been real good. You're so good. You are so good. You are so good. <laughs> But don't well. live off your laws. Still study and show yourself approved. Yeah. Don't live off your laws because you don't know what the enemy's trying to throw at you. Yeah. Don't just go cruising. Stay in gear. You need to yeah. shift to go forward. Yeah. Stay in gear. Because so, so this brother um, was still living his life. This brother didn't understand why God gave him this hand, but he was still doing okay. He wasn't the biggest farmer. His feet wasn't working, but he was living. He was doing okay. He didn't know how God was working with him, but he was doing okay. I don't know about you, but I might have had a pity party if I woke up, found out that my life should have been different or better, or should have been walking a certain way, and I can't even walk. I don't know how it would be, but this brother was just doing his best to do his best. Yeah. And watch this, watch this. Since he was sitting there in first gear, he didn't realize while he was at his stop sign, God was working it out. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a shouting thing. Um, yeah. I've been living my life this long. Hallelujah. I expect something from God. I've been living my life this yeah. long. Yeah. I'm trying to walk closer to God. I'm living my life this long. Well, God, are you doing something? I'm living yeah, my life this yeah. long. I need your help, God. You said you're my ever-present help. I've been living my life this long, God. I, I need you to do something right now. I've been living my life this long, God. I need you to move right now. I'm living my life this long, God. I need yeah. something to happen. A change needs to come, God. And, and while he was doing his thing, God was doing his thing. Uh, uh, Y'all know David got issues, but God touched his heart. Y'all know David was going through stuff, and God touched his heart. Yeah. He, he remembered how much even Jonathan tried to give him his armor. He remembered that, that Jonathan was his friend. He remembered some stuff. So even as king, when he could be doing anything, he thought about Jonathan's son. He thought about how, uh, yeah, the brother got a bad hand. Let, 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 me, let me pause for a fact. Has someone ever just done something for you, and you didn't expect it? You don't know why they did it. In fact, they had no real reason they did it, but they just uh, put a blessing, put that gold nugget, did that thing in your life. I'm not saying don't thank the person, but no, God is working. Yeah. Yeah. You never know who he uses. He can use anybody, yeah. even including me. Yeah. God is yeah. working. Yeah. Work 
working all the time. The brother's just sitting there, and, yeah. and, and, and his, his father's old servant came yeah. and said, guess what? Um, you just got the hooker. Okay, that's not in the Bible, y'all. That's, that's not in the Bible. But, but um, the king is calling you to his court. This same guy who took your title is calling you to his court. This same guy who got your birthright, he called you to his court. This same guy Thank who God. haven't looked at you all these years, he's called you to your court. When God gives you a setup, don't act out. Don't, don't act out. Don't, don't block what he's trying to do for you. Don't, don't, don't be that old person going down and left. Be, be, be prepared and be in gear to be able to shift forward because sometimes the thing that needs to change is you. It, it, it's you. Because he could have showed up in the king any old kind of way. Well, it's up. about time you called me. You know where I live. You know all this right here should be mine anyway. I know nobody in this church would act like that. I know y'all good Holy Ghost saved people. Y'all wouldn't even think about talking like that. I'm just saying if Mephesabeth was thinking another way, he could have gone in there against her and said all kinds of stuff that would have messed up his blessing because David already knew what he was trying to do. Don't walk in somewhere when a person's trying to bless you and you mess up your blessing by having some attitude and issues. Just, just be open to God, go into the place, and see what God's trying to say. Be open to God, go into the place, and talk the way God told you to talk. Go, Be open to God, go into the place, and be the child God created you to be. Don't walk up in there like the world owe you something. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he walked up in there, and he recognized David for the title he had. I don't know how he felt about David personally. That's not in there. But he walked in there. Well, actually, he didn't walk in there. His, his friends carried him in there. But he, he went in there, and he gave David what David's due according to the position. So, 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 so many of us get so mad at people that we don't want to honor the position they're in. And, and by not doing that, <laughs> who are you dishonoring? So, 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 so. He was able to manage his feeling. Mephesel Beth was at, when Mephesel Chef was able to manage how he felt. And he went in there and he gave David. In fact, David said, you know what? It's already done. You don't even have to work anymore. You don't have to, watch this. You have to cut your own grass. The, the, the servant for your daddy will be the servant for you. You can sit up in here and sit here and they're going to do the fields for you. No more do you have to do anything because you finally got to the place because you were able to shift to get the blessings that were coming to you. He was able to just receive after the little work. He was able to receive a place in the world palace. He was able to receive the things that he understood that he should have been promised. And it's not in the Bible. We're going to tell you this thing. I'm pretty positive that he didn't go back to God and say, God, why it took so long? Woo! Again, nobody in here would say something like that to God because y'all wouldn't do God like that. But some people may say that. So, so what shall we say? To this brother who, could, who had every right to be depressed, every right to be distressed, every right to feel hopeless, every right to feel like there's no purpose, every right to feel like this illness had taken him over. What can we say about this brother who stayed and shifted forward no matter what he went through? He, he lived his life knowing that he's there for a purpose. What should we say for this brother who understood that, God, I don't know why this is happening to me, yeah. but I trust that you're still God. Yeah. God, I don't know why I am here. Yeah but I trust that you're in it. God, I don't know what to do next, well, but while I wait, I'm going to stay open. Even when the king calls, the one I blame all my problems for, I will still stay open to you. God, I don't know, but I know what I don't know, yeah, and I do yeah. know I know you. Yeah. And because I know you, God, yeah. I will trust you, and I will trust you yeah, till I die. Yeah. God, uh, 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 you love me enough to let me know what I don't know. And because you love me enough to let me know what I don't know, I'm going to do what you called me to do. Well, well, yeah. What shall we say to these things about this man? Mm. We can't be too upset that life can get hard because we don't know why God allowed it to get hard. So when we don't know, we still need to trust. Not only do you need to trust in the midst of it all, you have to trust there's a reason. Nowhere when God said David was going to be king, God didn't address Saul's line. Ooh. The elusive young called me this week, so we can have fun with that one. God said what will be. He didn't say about 
the rest of Jonathan's line or, or Saul's line. He, he, it's not that God didn't like it, not that God wasn't mad with them. God did what he called to do. He knew he needed David and David's line to do some things. So, so no offense, Saul, but the people called for you. That wasn't part of my original plan. But since I love the people, I, I, I let you in. But, but that's all right because I'm going to tell you what needs to happen. And sometimes when God is moving, we feel left out. So, 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 it's okay, my brother. God still has a plan for you. My brother and my sister, God still has a plan for you. He has not left you. He has not forsaken you. Uh, you, you may Lord. be cruising. He's still there. You may be going backwards. He's still there. You may be trying to shift and can't get it in gear. He is still there. It's just a clutch thing. You got to learn how to do the clutch thing. Trust God to do the clutch thing. When you trust him to do the clutch thing, he, 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 he'll help you through it. He, he'll get you that motion go, go, going forward. So, 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 so you may not know why. Trust him. Trust that he's in it. And what's the last thing? When the stop sign is over and it's time to move, don't be scared. Move. See, see, see too often, family, we've been somewhere so long, we don't know how to go forward. We've been there so long at the stop sign, we don't trust him to move forward. Because now, I got so comfortable where I am, God, you know what, maybe, you know, this new thing is kind of, I don't, no, 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 child, I need you to grow. I, I need you to go forward. Uh, I'm, I, I'm going back to church school. Uh, I, I'm one of those people who firmly believe the reason why only two people walked out of there from the original line, they're the only people who trust God enough to go forward. Do you want to stay at the stop sign or will you trust him? Will you want to stay at the stop sign or will you shift in the gear for him? Will you want to just sit around and be in the same place over and over again? But when he calls, you say, yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depth of my soul, yes, Lord. Completely yes. My soul says yes. You're going to learn anything from this brother. Yeah, he was crippled at a young age. That's messed up. He still trusted God. Yeah, he didn't know how long he was being in the state he was in. And he still trusted God. Yes, he knew there was a bigger calling life. In fact, the people gave him a, the title of prince. But it wasn't what the people said. It's what God said. And he trusted yeah. God. Yeah. Stay in first gear. Shift with him. Stay in first gear. Let him know you trust him. Stay in shift gear, first gear. And when it's time, shift and go forward. Stay in first gear. And trust your way through it. Because he will always be there for you. He will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. And if you find yourself in reverse, just breathe. It's going to be all right. Just breathe. Just you and him. Just breathe. Look, look, look. Hit the beat and just breathe. Hit your next beat and go forward. He makes it all work out. Let us pray. Dear precious Father, we thank you, Lord. Because with you, we won't skip a beat. We thank you, Lord. Because of you, Lord, we're ready to move forward. We thank you, Lord. And although we may find ourselves cruising in neutral, we know that you always give a chance to shift. And you know, sometimes when we're cruising, you give us a stop sign so we can stop and think about what we're doing. When the coast is clear, you give us a chance to shift. Help us, Lord, to stop going down and to the left. Let's go up and to the right. Let us hit that first gear the way you call us to do it. And then, Lord, when we find ourselves in front of a place we never thought we'd be in front of, and someone asks us to address them, that we speak life. When someone calls to address them, we speak truth, confidently knowing that you had been with us the whole time. When David called him, he didn't have to say anything. David was going to go on and bless him. And he had the discernment to let God's will be done. And when he let God's will be done, he was blessed beyond measure, even sitting in the castle with David. So we, too, had to focus on God and thank him and give the testimony when we're blessed beyond measure. I got to use it before we say amen, Lord. You may not come when we expect you, but you are always right on time. So lead us and guide us. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us stand all over the church. Is there one this morning that you never give yourself to him? Now's the time. If you know that he died and rose again, that he's coming back again, and you want to give yourself to Christ, now's the time. The doors of the church are open.
I know it's tempting to coast, but stay in gear. I know it's tempting to sit and rest, but and, and you can rest and stay in gear. Be open to him as he moves. Be open to him as he speaks. Be open to him as he directs your path. Now to him who will give you direction, to him who makes a way from him, to him who makes crooked paths straight, to him who's able to keep you from falling, present you in front of our Father with exceeding joy. May the only wise God, may he rest, may he rule me about in you, now henceforth and forevermore. And the people of God sing together. Come to worship and lead us serve. Have a glorious day and week in the Lord. God bless you.